Good morning, Mark Savage here, and welcome to a bit of a messy shed. Doing a service on this one, done them already, so check out my old ones for versus services. Anyway, what's good news today? Hopefully, you can see me over here, over here, shaven haircut, eh? And hopefully you can see right in the middle and no more smudge. Use some scratch cleaner for um, paint on the front of the lens. What I'm left with now is a tiny bit of discoloration, but hopefully you can see my ugly mug, which I was actually trying to block out for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, I dropped it. Anyway, what is today's chat about? Well, like magic, I must get better at doing editing. People keep saying to me they use Adobe, and I'm using Adobe Premiere now, but I'm just not seeing what everybody else seems to see. Anyway, I've done a video on one of these before, and I fitted it to my Triumph Trophy, which was a brilliant bike. This one I'll be fitting on my Pan, European ST1300, the big Honda that I just recently did a video of. Right, okay, moan of the day, eBay. Bugger me, that really, really annoys me. Do you ever notice, and I know, I know Derv Man and me have had this problem before, but Steve, hello mate. He was the one that showed me these originally. So after the last one took four days, I thought I'd go back on there, couldn't buy from him anymore, so I found another eBay seller. UK seller. UK, be all over the place. They do seem to do that, don't they? They say they're from Edinburgh, which I know Scotland, but they say they're from Liverpool, um, London, whatever. And you buy it, and it says three to five days delivery, and all of a sudden you seem to notice at the bottom of the page, it's all in Chinese from whatever province. And you think, ah, oh, bugger, you know? So after two weeks of not receiving, I emailed them a few times, got no replies at all. I went to Resolution Centre, and eventually they say we'll email them. And luckily, it came yesterday morning, and then the emails back from the other two messages I sent, saying, uh, you've got it. Well done, but a little bit, just, ah, oh, it just bugs, doesn't it? And then you're not sure if it's going to work. This was cheap, and I'm talking about forty pounds. I paid a lot more last time. What do you get in this little box? Now I haven't got the GPS version because you remember rightly from the last one, didn't want to fit the GPS because it shows you where you are and the speed. Now I'm not saying I speed, but I just wouldn't want someone because if you send it to an insurance company, they might look back and see that you're doing thirty-five and a thirty, and they go, "Oh, you are speeding. We're not covering you." So I'd rather not have that on there. Now this one is slightly better, although cheaper, than my last one. What did you get in the box? Well, less than last time. Now I have had it out already, because I wanted to test it before I left feedback, saying that, what a shame, you know? Um, good product, but what a shame. Now this one, one camera is 1080, and the other camera is 720. So back one 720, front one 1080. What you get is a wider field, so 140 field, and 100 field at the back. Testing, the fun part. Nice and slim though, and this should fit in the left hand pocket, I'm hoping anyway, because it's very slim. It does rather come with this very crappy bike. And I wouldn't have said it's waterproof, so you're gonna have to fit it somewhere sensible. I mean, it can't be waterproof, because it's got an intake for the SD card. Remember to buy your ST card, ST? Remember also to buy your SD card. Um, 64 gig will be fine. Again, eBay, that came in two days. And that was UK seller. Does bug me. So how are we gonna test it? Very, very simple. Battery. Everyone's got a battery line about somewhere. Um, I've got lots, but that's not the point. So if you haven't got your, just take your battery off your ped or your motorbike, or if you've got a spare one, brilliant. And all you do is connect the negative, which you're gonna do anyway. Now, when connecting, do remember though, when you're connected to your motorbike, connect the earth to the battery, obviously, but the live, go to the fuse. Now, in the fuse box, you're going to have someone on the bike, you're going to have in and out. So, when you turn the power on, it goes in through that way. You're on the outside of the fuse. You have to use a voltmeter, here's one I made earlier, just to test that, okay? Really easy to test the fuse. Pull the fuse out, turn the ignition on and you'll touch one side up to the battery, the live side to the one side of the fuse, and the, the live side is good, one that's got no power to it, connect to that side underneath and clamp it on, okay? Then when you turn it on, power will go to it, when you turn it off, power will stop, should last 30 seconds like the other one, got a little bat internal battery in them, so that's really good. Nice and simple, don't connect it straight to your battery, it won't turn off, and you just kill your battery and feel pretty silly. But however, just connect that to the battery, connect this one to the other side, like so, then this part obviously just plugs straight in. Then we just simply plug it in. 
And what are we going to see now? You seeing me? Yes, you are. And wait, what could be better than one of me? Can you see the difference about 1080 and 720? One obviously shows me bigger and clearer, and the other one's more dark and further away. The one to your... Well, this side, I don't know if I'm left or right looking that way, obviously I'm bigger and clearer. So, nice and simple test. It works and well worth testing. I wouldn't want to be drilling this all in and putting it all up there and then not testing it and find out bloody thing doesn't work. That'd be really, really annoying. Now, obviously the last one, if you watched my last video, I had a van cut me up. That was really good at night and day. So, I'm hoping these look identical. The last one was 720. These are, say, the bigger one on the left-hand side for me. So I'm going to see what it looks like when I get it on. Now, as I said, I do have an internal battery, so that should last another 30 seconds and shut off. You do get little instructions. That, right, I did this before, didn't I? You understand that? And even that's in English, and, well, how hard can it be? I've just shown you there. On this particular little one, on this one, on the cameras, I found that one had a knob bit out and the other in, so male and female, and they're plugged in that way, which is really, really handy. So, nice and easy. Next video coming up, wait for this. You can see me better now. I have bought a wireless mic. Very, very hard to find. Great review coming up and a test. We're going to test it in here. Outside, which is always a point. In here, it echoes, and I've got quite a loud voice. But outside, as you know, once I'm more than 10 feet away, you can't hear shit. So, I'm going to be testing it, even indoors, on the motorbike, doing a vlog. And I've even thought, because it's supposed to be 25 metres, I'm going to put it in a car, so I'm video me while I'm riding, doing a vlog. Let's do a full test on that one, and then we can say yay or nay, whether it's worth you paying it, because a few pounds. But you know what? If you're going to video, you're going to start vlogging, you're going to start doing what I'm doing, then you need it because some of my videos have been really piss poor with quality. Um, content's always good. All right, maybe not. I'd like to think the content's been great, but the content's there. Uh, what I'm trying to do is explaining things to you, but if you can't hear it, you can't see it properly, it's been crap. So hopefully now you can see me better, and hopefully after this video, you're going to be able to hear me better. Then I'm going to fit it to the ST as well and do a vlog. So four videos, four videos in total. Can't wait to do that, actually. So, thanks for watching. Going to fit this next. Again, choose well when you're going to go on eBay. Look through. Don't just put the first little bit like I normally do. You know, you see, like, it says, like, 96%, and if you 99%, whatever, it looks great. Actually, click on that, and that's when you see this guy had 560 bad feedbacks. Why did eBay allow them to keep selling? And this is what I said when I went to the Resolution Center. Why is it 46 bad feedbacks this month, 560 in total, and they still go on percentages? That's not fair on the 560 people and me and everybody else that doesn't get it. It's broken, it's cheap, it's nasty, but they keep getting the money out of it, keep letting them go. And look at me babbling on. So this was the camera I brought. Quick, easy review. 1080, 720, well worth doing. Should be nice and slim to fit in where I need it to. Um, I guess if you're going to fit it to a ped or another little box and put some, I don't know, cloth or material or something down there or glue it, you know, you can't glue it. If you're going to fit it to a bike that hasn't got, like, I've got the little shelf bit to hopefully fit that on there, you're going to have to really think about it because that is just crap. I don't know why you're going to fit it there. You may have to make your own bracket up in some way, shape or form or secure it in some way. Maybe with Velcro on one side, another side, and stick it to the bottom of the bike where you're going to go, draw the whole through. But anyway... Video coming up of how I'm going to fit that one. Happy to answer, or if you can't figure out some little things, happy to help you to suggest where to put it. At least you know how to, how to wire it now to a battery um, and the fuse side of it, not just go both sides because then you're going to kill your battery. Anyway, there's the camera. Choose your seller wisely. You take care of us on the road. It's crap weather here in England now. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll keep making them.